Welcome back or welcome if you are new here. In today's video, I will show you how you can build free landing page by using Google Sites. So let's just get started right away. Now for this video tutorial, I will be building a landing page for a lead magnet. So I have done some example right here and now we're just gonna dive in and you know, look by section by section how you can achieve a page like this. And if you will stick with me until the end of this video, I will also share some free HTML codes, including some contact and subscribe forms, uh, buttons, product display images with all sorts of effects you can use on your pages. So I will share all these free HTML code by the end of this video. So keep on watching. Okay, so once we have load a Google sites by going to sites.google.com or simply going through your drive, you will land on a blank page. And the first thing you would like to start right here is looking on the teams. So from here, you can do your own completely unique custom team. I have done another video tutorial how you can set up custom team. I will leave that link in this video description or you can choose one of the teams offered by Google. So currently I'm using impression team with this default color. Now, when you switch in between the teams and you can do that at any point during your design, you will see how your site instantly changes. Okay. To undo anything you don't like how you look on your preview, you can simply click on undo. So the themes are essentially the style package applied on your entire site. Okay. So you can choose one of these or as I said, you can set up your custom one and you also have option of importing the custom one. If you have done any custom teams before, you can import them through here. But as I said, I have done another video tutorial all about it. So once you have done with your team and you have selected the colors, you can also change the font styles. So once you have done that, you are set on the team. Let's start designing your page. Now, the first thing I would like to show you is the banner here above. And you can do banner in two ways. You can simply double click and then enter the text. Okay. You can then paste your text and use all of these formatting options you have here. So you can use bold, italic, underline, you can change the text color, you can link your text to somewhere and also change the font size and so on. Okay. So this is the one of the ways how you can change the top of your site by just simply using the text layer. And then if you come on this section right here, you can also change the color. Okay. The text color will change automatically if you set it to lighter one, or you can come back and put on the red as it was. So now that's the, one of the options, how you can do that. Be including custom colors. You can come on the images, click on select image. And then if we just click on the search and search for something like a red, you can actually select another red to be displayed. Not the one that is on your team. Okay. Now it's adjust the readability element. You can always off that and you can also anchor the image if you are using some sort of image without, you know, just using the plain color. Now let me undo this and let me get rid of this text section. Now the second option, how you can display the banner is by coming up right here on the settings and then scroll down an announcement banner. Now from here, you can enable to show the banner and choose its color. So let me just leave this green and let me show you how it looks like. So here's the message you can show on your banner. You can link the button. This will be the button label. Okay. I'll just show you how it looks like. And then you can open it in a new tab. That's if you link it to somewhere else. You can also choose whether you want to display visibility on a homepage only or across the entire site. So let's just leave this as on all pages. Now, once you have done, close this and you will see you have your banner right here with the button. You can of course use the text and you can then manually insert the button as well by coming to insert, scrolling down here on a button. Okay. So you can call your button, give it a name and then link it to somewhere again, one of your pages or on external link. Okay. You can see you have a button right here. You can position it next to the text and sort of create your own banner, or you can just use the one that is on the settings. Now for this section right here, I will share this form with you in a just a minute. You can of course add some more text to it, how to design backgrounds like this or how you design your actual lead magnet. So to do so, let's head to a site called canva.com. So if you come on Canva and click on elements, you will see the section of frames. And then from here, you can choose any of these frames to display your mockups. So for example, I have done some of these product images right here. So if I just now click on the new page and select some of these mockups, I will show you how easy you can create your lead magnet, uh, you know, element to display on your site. So let's say we have these three elements and 
and then you need to upload the design of your product and then simply once you drag and drop it will display on the mock-up right away and that's it all you have to do now these uh, mock-ups are premium paid features so i will leave the link in this video description you can try it out all of these features free for 30 days so once you have done with your lead magnet design you can then come on the share right here and then click on download select png file enable transparent background which is also a paid uh, feature on the canvas and then uh, simply select the page you would like to download so once you have done it you can then head back to your google site you can come on the insert tab right here click on the images and select upload or again double click click on upload and select your file click on it and it will display on your page and then you can use these options to insert the link you can uncrop your image if by default google sites crop your image once you have put it in or you can actually crop it if you only want to display part of it okay and as with all other elements on google sites is drag and drop so let me just get rid of this and i have already placed my lead magnet right here now how do you do a background like this again if you head back on canva let me just create a new page and then if you come on the photos and search for any color gradient so i have previously used some of the red and blue and purple gradient so if you click on this you stretch this image across your design and then come back on elements again you can search for either gradients or light so if you click on gradients you can take some of these elements and place it just on the top of your design to create a style if you click on let's say purple light again you can use some of these elements to just to make your design you know more interesting more unique standing out so just play around place this like this on your design and then again come on the download this time you don't have to select a transparent background you can also use a jpeg file however png will give you a bit more higher resolution and better quality and then again select the page and download your design now to upload it on google sites if you have a section like this you then would come on on this a section color as i showed you before and you can either choose color or just select the image as we did before by uploading it from your computer now one great thing about a google site is that you can preview your designs before publishing your site so if you come up right here and click on the preview icon you will see how your lead magnet page looks on the large screens you can also click on the mobile preview to see whether it's responsive and how it looks there and also on the tablet medium size screens as well now to exit this preview click on this icon right here and you will be back onto editing mode to save all the changes and for your site to become live you need to click on publish and then click on publish again that will save your changes now when you publish your site for the first time it will also ask you to provide the site's url so let me just load blank site so if you click on publish right here you need to enter your web address and by default it will also include sites.google.com so let's say we're going to call it as a page example you see how your url will look like now if you would like to use custom domain to be more professional and give your site unique url you can come here on the settings and then go on custom domain and start setting up your own custom domain and again we have done another video tutorial showing you in details how to do so and i will leave a link in this video description okay so you have learned now how to do the announcement banner where you can design and how to insert your lead magnet product right here how you can add some text now regarding this form all you have to do is come to url landing.emeritmastering.com slash code dash product and then you will land on a page looking like this where you need to enter your email address and then you will have full access to all these codes including the one i showed you on this form all right so that's how the code will look like okay and then if you scroll down a bit more here you will be able to change the colors you can also change the text if you don't want to say download now you can enter your own text now this form you will also have to update your email list id depending on the email provider you are using okay we are using ascendi to collect the email addresses for our subscribers and of course you can use any other you know email provider while well, we are using sandy just because it's extremely uh, cheap and reliable comparing to other email marketing providers if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications to see more video tutorials like this now go ahead and watch this video 
video as a next one. It will show you how you can edit all these custom HTML codes. I just show you so you can just implement them easily on your Google site or web pages. I'll see you there.